victory. <laughs> all right, I feel like dumb. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you. And so we, we actually made it. And when we we're going to exit uh, the binary, we we're supposed to see uh, a segmentation fault, and it's not going to to get into the printf that after the function, because the path has been the, the path of the execution had been altered. So we're going to exit out of the shell. And if it's if I'm not joking with you, and it's supposed to s see a segmentation fault. So we just stop it, and now, all right. So uh, we did it. We got a shell. Uh, that's that was the le least complex one, but it, the, the, this stuff works. So that's the whole point of the talk, right? So you can do whatever you want, actually, on on Android. So I'm about to finish right now. Uh, I did it a bit earlier. You might want to catch some other talk anyway. Uh, the buffer overflows on ARM are actually a real threat. Uh, we need some more security mechanism set up on that one. And uh, like fully ASLR on a main line, we want to do that. And uh, if, you con if you're writing an applications for ARM, uh, don't count on it on being like unexploitable because it can be exploitable like, in, like you can see. Uh, sometimes it can be even easier. Sometimes it's harder. It's not a hacker's heaven like x86, but it can be done. Uh, if you want to prevent it, we, we want uh, not a single unrandomized static code and uh, stack cookies and like the most vectors we can to prevent buffer overflows, the better. If anyone got questions, I'll be at uh, Q&A uh, 114. Uh, you can download the full talk and the the paper, like I said. And if anyone wants a business card or something, I got like a full pack here. Uh, anyway, thanks, special thanks to some guys, uh, Ilan uh, from Samsung Israel, and uh, Moshe Verd and Matthew Kapitner from uh, Matthew from uh, Inguardians. Helped me a lot. Some references, and that's it. Okay. Thank you.